Welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is Avian Graphics. Yes, on this particular guide or on this particular video, we are going to learn how to design this particular banner in Photoshop. Yes, so what we need to do over here is that that is what I've already done, and we are also going to do uh, the same thing as you see it. You get that. So, what we need to do over here is that let's just create a new document over here. And I will need new document. I don't have a specific uh, size for it, so I'm just going to use the Photoshop default size. And however, I can do anything to it. So I'll go to view, then I'll come to new guide, and over there horizontal, I'll make it 50% so that I can divide this particular document into two, so that I can just use half of it, just like this. You get that? Then I'll click OK and that's nice for me and that is how i want it to be so the next thing again i have to do over here is that um uh, let me i uh, i want to the try okay let me just leave it over there so what i need to do over here is that i now have something like this over here so uh first now I have to do over here is to come up and pick a rectangular tool over here then i'll just have something like this over there you get that yes then when i have something like that i'll just try and uh, move it around just like that and maybe if that is okay for me then i'll have it just like this you get that so the next thing i have to do over here is that is to hold my shift button uh, my shift control uh, uh, shift control and then just move this one a little bit just like that you get that and that would be okay for me then i'll have it just like that okay the next thing you're gonna have to do over here is to add a gradient map to it and adding gradient map to it i can decide to right click and then uh, go to the planning options over here where i can find my gradient map based thing over there so I'm, i'll just add overlay this particular overlay for it and that'll be okay for me then i'll have it just like that you get that the next thing you're gonna have to do over here is to come and pick another rectangular a rectangular tool again then i'll just draw something like this over there very simple one you get that and then i'll move this one just like that okay then i'll have it just like that okay then i'll have it somewhere here but however i'll click on it so that it will be selected like, like this and then over here i'm just going to change it to somewhere uh let's say 25 sorry minus 25 i want the angle to uh, tilt somewhere okay so I'll have it just like that over there, okay? And then I'll try and uh, adjust it by free adjustment just like that. Then I'll have it just like that. And over here, I'll try and move it a little bit uh, over here so that I'll have it just like that, okay? The next thing you're going to have to do of, of, uh, on this particular is now add the same gradient map to it. I've already copied, which is going to be like that. And then I'll copy it just like that over here. And that will be okay for me and on this particular this one i'm just going to remove the this thing and make it white you get that then i'll move this one to the top here just like that and then this one i'll move it somewhere like this and then i'll try and adjust it so that it will look uh what we did earlier you get that then i'll have it just like that and then this one i'll try and adjust that one too a little bit and then this one uh, should come somewhere like that, like this over here. Okay. Yes. Then I'll have it just like that. Okay. So the next thing you're gonna have to do over this particular, I'm just going to uh, group it by Control G. Then I'll have it just like that. Okay. Then uh, let me name it one, and that will be okay for me. The next thing again I'm going to do is to give it a background, and then I'm going to choose a uh this particular background over here uh, i'm trying to remove my recorder somewhere so that i can i can use it however it's not moving up okay let me try and see okay so let me have it somewhere like that okay as you can see so i'm adding a color on the adjustment earlier over here and then I'll have this particular uh, color over there, there and that will be okay for me. The next thing again I'm going to do is to pick my rectangular tool again. Then I'll draw something like this over there. You get that? 
Then when I draw something like that, I'm going to change the color to this particular color over there. And then I'll add a shadow to it over there. Okay. Then I can have this particular shadow. Um, just going to increase the distance to 46. And that will be okay for me. Then I'll increase the distance a little bit. And then 11, I'll leave the opacity as 11. And that will be okay. And then I'll add a layer mask to it, just like that. Then I'll come and pick a brush too. And then I'll just clean up a little bit on that. You get that? Yes. And then I'll tilt it this way. And then I'll move it somewhere like that. Somewhere like this. You know, I'm just copying it so that I can have uh, a duplicate, this kind of things, uh, a duplicate background on there. Just so that it will look somewhere different. Then I'll have something like this over there together. Yes. And then that one too, I'll add it to this one. And that will be okay for me together. So over here, the next thing I'm going to have to do is to save my work. And I'll just call it... Uh, I'll just call it banner and that'll be okay for me. You get that. So the next thing again I'm going to do is to come to this particular Disney and copy and pick this particular uh, file uh, ellipse tool. Then I'll just draw something like this over here. You get that. Then when that is drawn, then I'll come and choose this particular color over here. Or uh, this particular color. It's okay for me. Then I'll use this particular color. You get that. Yes. And then the next thing I'm gonna have to do over here is that um, just I have a details over here that I'm going to use. So 70%, I'm just going to copy 70% over there. And then I'll come and paste it over here. Then I'll move it to the circle over here. And then I'll zoom it out. Then have it just like that. Okay. Yes. And then the next thing again I'm going to do is to increase the size a little bit over here you get that and then i'll make it bold you get that and then i'm um, just going to select only the off over here and then i'll reduce the size a little bit so that it will go down and then i'll paragraph and i'll paragraph it by this by like this you get that yes and then let me try and increase the size of the off just like that and then the wideness, I'll try and move it a little bit closer. Yes, you get that. A little bit closer. Uh, let me say 20 will be okay for me. And then I'll try and uh, have it just like that. Then like this. You get that. Yes. And I'll have it just like this. And then I'll try and move it a little bit in. Uh, I don't want it to be somehow bigger. You get that. Then I'll have something like this again. So the next thing again I'm going to do is to pick this particular tool over here again. Then I'll just draw something like this. Uh, not that too distant, but something like this over here. You get that? Yes. And then I'll have it just like that. And then uh, I'll try and have a color over there. Uh, color. So let me make a reference to this. I use this particular color over here. So I'm going to use this particular color. So let me have uh, this color over here that'll be okay then the next thing again i'm going to do is to zoom it out and then take this tool and just draw something like this over here you get that yes and then on that i'm going to move that one down there uh down the distance you get that and then i'll zoom it out and let it be the same the edges should be the same and then i'll hold control I just move this one here and that will be okay for me and then on that particular one i'm just going to make the color somehow deeper so that i'll have some kind of uh, curve uh, this thing over there and that will be okay you get that yes. and then the same thing applied to this one i'm going to have it just like that then i'll move this one over there then i'll move it down here and then I'll change the color to the same color over here. And then I'll try and let it be in line. Then I'll hold control and just move this one over here. And that's okay. Then I'll have it just like that. You get that. And then 
Um, the next thing again I'm going to do on this particular this one, I forgot about well, click on that and then skew it and right click skew it and then I'll move that one somewhere like this. That's so cool, not too much. And then on this one, I'll just try and move it out a little bit, and then I'll have it just like that. And then I'll just come and copy um, the Black Friday over here. And then I'll come and paste it. Um, I come and paste it on um, this. And I'll move it to the top. To the top there. Then I'll just try and reduce the size. To fit in on this. You get that. So let me have somewhere 11. It's so cool. Then I'll have uh, just like that. Okay. Right. You get that. You know. Then I'll move this one a little bit top, um, and then I'll just group uh, that one there. I'll just group it just like that. Then I'll call that one seventy percent. I'm just grouping it so that my work will not be too distant on the uh, the layer panel. You get that? Then I'll have something like this. Then I'll move it somewhere. Here. So the next thing again I'm going to do over here is to come and pick a uh, new Arava on my details file and then I have it somewhere here and then I'm just going to have it somewhere here then I'll move it to somewhere and then I'll try and align it uh, and then I'll have it just like that and then that one I'll let it be somewhere here then I'll come up with a guide so that I can see what I'm going to do so on this I'm just going to change the color this particular color over here so that uh, to have I'll have it just like that and the next thing again I'm going to do is to pick up shoes over here copy it shoes there and then I'll just paste it over here um, I'm using the font I'm using poppins and then I'll have it just like that just like that I'll use bold but it should be italic and I'll have it just like that and I'll make sure it's white a little bit and then the wideness I'll try and have it just like that then I'll have it just like this okay so let me try and use 36 that will be okay for me so the next thing again I'm going to do is to have something like this over here then I'll have it somewhere like this again okay. yes. and then I'll move it somewhere like that and then on that I'm just going to change the color to white then I'll copy it again then I'll make the color the background color over here and that'll be okay for me and then on this I'll move it somewhere here that's so cool it looks like something is loading however it just loaded and it's there okay so I'll come and pick up uh, Jumia the website where you can buy those shoes there then I'll just have it just like that Okay, yes, and then I'll try and reduce the size a little bit down. Okay, then I'll make sure I use some um, this particular distance. That'll be okay. For me. Then we have something like this over there. We get that. Yes, so uh, I'm gonna reduce the size a little bit. I don't want it to be too distant. Then I'll have it somewhere like that. Then I'll make the distance five. So that I'll just have a wider something over here. You get that. Yes. So the next thing again I'm going to do is to come and pick pick a uh, copy shop now. And then shop now, I'm just going to have something like uh, draw something like this over there. And then I'll make sure I change the color uh, to this color over here. And then I'll move the distance to have some kind of brown out the distance over there. And then I'll paste my work over here, and that's so cool. And then I'll have something like this over here, and then I'll make the color black so that uh, it can really show up. On me. Then I'll have something like this. And the next thing I'm going to do is to have something like this, and then I'll change the color to this background color, and that's so cool for me. Then I'll move this one a little bit over here. Uh, okay, then I'll have something like. Okay. So and then I'll have um, like this. The font I'll make it semi bold so that it will pop up for me, and that's so cool. Then I have something like this. You get that? 
So the next thing again I'm going to do is to go to my file over here and then pick up um, a shoe that I downloaded uh, on PNG Wings. Uh, there are a whole lot of shoes over here that you can think of. Um, yes, there are a whole lot of shoes. Okay, then I'm just going to pick this one. Then I'll move that one to somewhere like this, and that's okay. Then I'll make it like this, and I'll have something like this over together. So the next thing I'm going to do is to pick up a ellipse tool, that cycle tool. Then I'll hold my shift and just draw something like this over here together. Yes, and what I when I have something like that, I'm just going to move it to the just like that, okay. But I'm going to add a gradient map to it. So I'll right click and go to my blending options over here, and then I'll come to my blending this thing over here. You get that. So on that, I'm just clicking. I'm going to just go to change the color to this background color, and then I'll make the color over here black. All right. Then I'll have something like this, and then I'll reverse it. Okay. Then I'll have something like this. You get that. And the next thing that I'm going to do is to come and pick my ellipse tool over here. Then I draw something like this over here. You get that? Okay. And then I'll move my distance. I'll change my color to white. And that's so cool. You get that? So I'm having this particular uh, white thing over there. So that particular white, I'm just going to duplicate it and then move it to somewhere here. So I'll move this one top. Then I have something like this. I'll have it here. Then I'll move it somewhere here, and then of uh, the middle one, I'm just going to change it to black, and that's so cool. And then I have uh, cup, I'll hold all and move that one to the down here, and then I'm just going to tilt it this way, and that looks so cool for me. Then I have something like this. You get it? Yes. So we are getting to the end of the tutorial of uh, this particular banner, as you can see. So. I just need to move move my distance arrangement and I'll have something like this over here and then um, on this I'll have something like this and then I'll try and reduce the size uh, the opacity a little bit the background so that I'll have it uh, just like that okay all right so the next thing again on this particular I'm just going to add a another shadow to it okay shadow to it so shadow is here i'm just going to drop some shadow on it so that it will appear somehow okay i'm just going to drop the shadow uh the shadow tree shouldn't be something uh that come up to okay then i'll have something like this and then checking all my details over here. I think everything has done, and that's so cool. So, that is how banner has been designed with Avian Graphics. Thank you very much for watching this Avian Graphics. Have a nice day. Bye bye.